What's up guys? In this video, let's test out the IP68 waterproof capabilities of the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. Will it survive underwater for more than one hour? Starting the water test by checking the layer of oleophobic coating on the corning glass protection. This oleophobic layer does a great job of reducing fingerprint smudges and ripples water off the screen in the form of droplets instead of sticking to the glass surface. This oleophobic layer is completely missing on some devices like the Vivo Y81, V9 Pro, Oppo A7, A3s and every single Realme device where water tends to stick to the glass instead of rolling off. These splashes don't seem to affect the IP68 certified Galaxy S10 Plus with the low audio from the excellent speakers recovering within few seconds. So moving on to the next round of some heavy drenching. The Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, as expected, is able to handle heavy drenching and splashes like a champ. So next, let's drop it inside water and let it submerge completely underwater and see what happens. The sound is actually a bit audible even when underwater and you can even feel the sound waves kind of vibrating on your fingers. As you can see, the ultrasonic fingerprint scanner does not really work underwater. But the face unlock feature functions as normal like it does when outside of water and does a great job of recognizing faces and unlocking even when the S10 Plus is completely drowned inside of water. Now let the Galaxy S10 Plus marinate inside water for more than an hour which will give you a good idea if the IP68 waterproofing actually works or not. Meanwhile, later, thousands of years later, meanwhile, two thousand years later, eventually, later that same evening, one hour later. The Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus has been underwater for more than an hour now. So let's see if the IP68 rating has worked or has it suffered any damage. The water abuse has absolutely made no difference to the functioning of the Galaxy S10 Plus, including the sound or the camera, and passes my water test for these.